As the number of COVID cases begin to decrease in California, Governor Newsom makes an important decision for the future of the state. With the expectation of an abundance of doses coming in from the federal government through the end of this month and into May, we can confidently say by June 15th that we can start to open up as business as usual. But not everyone agrees with this decision. The state is currently facing a vaccine shortage. And now that Johnson & Johnson's distribution had to be paused, many people lost their appointments. I think we should actually wait and see how things eventually turn out. But not everyone agrees with this decision. San Jose resident and Fort Hill College student Grecia Ayala says rushing to reopen the state will lead to a second stay-at-home order. People will see that since we have more freedom, they're going to be more tempted to go out and forget about the actual distancing rules and we're going to see an increase in cases because of that. California is currently administering 5,000 vaccines a day. People who are 16 years or older qualify to receive a vaccine. That's why some people say that the state should lift the lockdowns now. Urbana Magaña is a San Jose grandmother. She says that the increase in cases scares her. However, she hopes that as more people have access to the vaccine, things will change for better. The day to reopen will eventually have to come. There's a lot of people with no jobs, said Magaña. According to the California government vaccine dashboard, only 28% of Californians have been fully vaccinated. It will definitely take time for us to jump back to our normal activities. I wouldn't consider attending a public event right away just because of that risk that as soon as someone's handed the freedom, they're going to obviously um, take advantage of it. So